It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Brewdog's Quench, Quake, Grapefruit and Tangerine Sour. Coming in at 4.6% ABV. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh, look at the smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Using my Brewdog glass. I believe this is probably, I've not looked at the website I've not read the label this is probably being brewed at their sour facility that they have now uh, we've got a two finger white head very light colored beer looks very nice to look at good levels of carbonation grapefruit and tangerine sour it smells really oh it sounds sorry sounds not smells sounds really good let's get the rest of the So their sour facility as is now next to their Ellen plant up there in lovely Scotland. Quite large carbonation rising up the, the glass. I was always told the smaller the bubble the better the beer. Let's get the aroma on this clear light pale coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Ooh, this smells really good. Loads of grapefruit, loads of tangerine. It's a very kind of light, airy, grapefruit, tangerine aroma. It's almost like you're going to drink this and it's going to be the complete refresher of a beer. Just really, really, really hoping on the sour aspect. I'm really hoping it's it's a proper sour mouth puckering beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay, let's bear in mind a couple of things here. I picked this up in a supermarket. Some of these beers have probably been brewed to a price point where the brewer, they have to hit margins, they have to hit some, they have to hit some profit, don't they? There wouldn't be any point in brewing if, you, if you're not gonna make a profit in the long term. So Brewdog have brewed this beer as a gateway probably, a gateway product for people who want to dip their toes further and may want to go and visit Brewdog in their sour facility in Ellen or maybe order some beers from Brewdog, some sour beers from Brewdog's website which may be a little bit more sour than this beer here. But saying that, it's quite impressive. It's, it's not bad. It's not making me kind of shake my mouth and, and whoa, you know, it's really sour like I, like I sometimes do in a beer review of say a Lambic or a Sour or a Berliner Weiss or something like that. But as I mentioned, that might, well, I haven't mentioned it yet, but that might scare a few people away. If they made this crazy sour beer and chuck it on the shelf in the local Tesco's, people might be like, Whoa, what's this? I'm never going to drink this type of beer again and they may not buy a Brewdog beer again. So I kind of understand where they're going with this particular beer. I kind of understand it. Me personally, would I like it more sour? Hell yes! Of course I'd like it a lot more. I wanted to kind of make my mouth kind of explode with joy. Sourness. But what's important for me is that it's lost that typical brew dog flavor. This doesn't have it. And I'm really impressed. It's the first time for a long time I've been able to say this in that you are picking up that lovely biscuity, wheaty, bready, 
malt flavor in the beer. And you can see the joy in my eyes. You can see the joy in my eyes. I'm really happy to say that. Um, it doesn't feel artificial. It doesn't feel, um, it, it, it feels like a, a, a real brewed out beer again, albeit it needs to be a little bit more sour, a lot more sour. But again, I've given you all my reasons as to why I think this isn't as sour as it should be. And you get that grapefruit. You do. You get that tangerine. And it all subtle light flavours that, that, that come together rather nicely, blend together. And it's stepping stones for the masses, for the people out there who have never tried a sour beer before. This will be sour to them. It's got a slight sourness for my palate. For Joe Public, they're going to be thinking, I quite like, I, I get the sourness. I like the sourness. And, and they're going to be thinking, I'm going to go and chase some sour beer and then their world opens. But it's all about baby steps. It's all about introducing people to styles of beer slowly. If you chuck a Carlin drinker over to like an imperial, a barrel aged imperial stout, straight away, you're going to scare him away for life. I know, I've tried it a hundred times. And they just get scared away, they run away and they go back to drinking Carlin forever. And, and same goes for this. If, if you made this a crazy sour beer, somebody went into the Tesco Extra store and they picked up one of these and they went, oh, I'm going to leave my car in for this week and I'm going to buy a couple of bottles of this. You're not going to scare them away. They might like the grapefruit. They might like the touch of tangerine. They might like the touch of sourness. And it, and it hasn't got that brewed old taste that, that you get from... Punk IPA and and, and Jackhammer and and the rest of their beers. I, I, I've forgotten now. I've forgotten. Um, I, I'm not here to have. I, I'm 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 on side with Brudo with this beer. I really am on side. I like the biscuitiness. I like the breadiness. I like the 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 the, the, the malt flavors that are really coming through rather nicely. And I'm really pleased for Brewdog to have been able to kind of do this and stick. And hopefully they can stick to this. It's all right. It's all right. Brewdog quench quake. Grapefruit and tangerine sour. I'm gonna give this beer a rating in the mindset that I am taking baby steps into the craft beer world. And if I was coming from drinking Carlin or Stella or Carlsberg and I was trying this for the first time and I'm, I'm rating it on that very, I've got my mind firmly fixed on, on, on me rating this in that aspect, then I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Very good gateway beer for the masses. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, and cheers.